to be honest, alam ko na na bore si Pia sa speech na ito. But I'd like to us argue to propose to you that this speech is in fact emblematic of his presidency. He began with war, right, on terrorism, ended with another war on illegal drugs, and then intermittently, you know, coming back to to the metaphor of war. This is a president who will define his last year um, by waging war on imagined enemies. In fact, if you think about it, his entire presidency has always been about imagining enemies. When he campaigned in 2015, Ralph, and, I, and, and, and just uh, bear with me because I think this is how we should assess this, this speech, his final speech. He has always been making enemies, seeing enemies where they don't exist. Yung drugs, manufactured lang naman yun eh. 250,000 lang or thereabouts in, by PIDEA in 2015, tapos bloated into millions. Plus niyon communists, wait, saan ang galing yun? Right? It's a very weak organization if you think about it. Well, of course, they're there, but they're not necessarily consequential, right? Mas consequential yung COVID. This is the irony. This is a war freak president who fails to see where the real enemy lies. And it's in that sense that this speech is emblematic of his presidency. And I feel that this is exactly how we should describe it. Mm, thanks, Jill. That was very interesting. Imagining enemies. Now, I think uh, imagined enemies, uh, the they become quote unquote real on social media, right? So I want to oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Jill, can you add more about that? And also, uh, if Camille can add as well, uh, I think, uh, I mean, President Duterte did not explicitly uh, mention anything about social media, but he did mention about ABS-CBN, right? Uh, should I begin or si Camille? Uh, okay, sige. Uh, so yeah, just, just very ahead. quickly. Uh, ah, sige, just, just very quickly. Uh, so these are imagined enemies and then they become real. This is exactly the power of populism. This is the power of penal populism, looking for people to punish. And this is exactly why I understand no, that we are approaching social media as that monolithic thing that brainwashes all of us. Um, at one level, you see that, you know, you see the power of social media in making the enemies real. But at the same time, it is also about reinforcing people's fears. You know, this is the power I feel of populism, you know, of surfacing the fear where they should not exist and making them see that this is the real problem. And in that sense, you know, if I could use some sociological terminologies here, opium. Nagiging opium yun kasi they forget that there are other real enemies here. And I think it's in that sense na, na this is a very, um, it's a wasted presidency if you ask me, right? Creating enemies where they don't exist, waging wars on enemies that are not consequential, and then forgetting that there are real problems. COVID, poverty, hindi niya binanggit, self-rated poverty has been going up almost 49%, right? Um, JC would know this. Hunger has increased. Where the real problems lie, he failed to mention them. He instead mm -hmm. focused on the operator nung, uh, mm -hmm. nung, uh, nung kanyang uh, teleprompter. 